and welcome. My name is Stephanie. I am a whole food plant-based chef, recipe developer, and cooking instructor. And I just pulled this warm apple crisp out of the oven. I am so excited to teach this one to you. It's a health forward dessert that is deceptively delicious. This is one you can enjoy throughout the fall and winter, but it's especially nice to bring it to family and friend gatherings over the holidays. I'll also be teaching you to make a sweet vanilla cashew cream to go on top. Of course, this step is optional, but I highly recommend it. It just takes the whole dessert to the next level. So let's get started. I'm really excited to show you this one. Before we begin work on the main recipe, I'll just review a few preliminary steps I've taken. First, I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I've put in a bowl about a cup and a half of raw cashews. I'm covering them with hot water, and these are gonna soften in the hot water so that we can blend them into a sweet, delicious vanilla cream. I've got in my hand six delicious, sweet, kajrawi dates. You can choose any variety of dates that you enjoy. These happen to be my favorites. I'll use a serrated edge knife to slice each of these lengthwise to remove the pit. Then I'll pour hot water from my tea kettle over the dates, and I'm gonna set these aside for a little while to soften as well. Next, I'll chop my apples into small pieces. I'm using Honeycrisp apples, but I also really enjoy Gala and Envy apple varieties, and you can choose your favorites too. I usually use a larger chef's knife to cut my apple into quarters first. And then I switch to a paring knife to cut away the core and chop the apple into bits. As I get the apples chopped, I want to transfer them directly to my baking dish. This one's about a quart and a half in volume. And the reason I want to work quickly is because I want to toss these apples with a little bit of lemon juice as soon as I chop them so that it'll prevent them from browning. You'll want your baking dish to be about three quarters full with chopped apples. I used half a lemon before I began the recipe, so I'm going to just pour this over the apples now. And I'll quickly stir the lemon juice into the apples to help prevent them from browning. While I chop the apples, my dates have had time to soften in the hot water. So I'm going to drain away the soaking water now. And then I'll transfer these into the cup of my Nutribullet blender. I really recommend this Nutribullet blender. It's great for small tasks like this, but if you don't have one, you could use a regular kitchen blender or even a food processor. To my blender cup, I'll also add a quarter cup of apple juice. You could also use water if you don't have apple juice. Two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then I'll screw the blade onto the blender cup. And blend this up until it's as smooth as it can be. Once it's smooth, I'll remove the lid. And pour the blended date mixture over the apple. I'll use a silicone spatula to get it all out. The mixture is so delicious, it tastes like caramel. So good. <laughs> Next, I'll add half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then stir this all together again until the apples are completely coated in the date mixture. And then once it's thoroughly combined, I'm just going to use the back of my spatula to press all the apples back down into the baking dish until they're even across the top. Then I'll set the apples aside. Then I'll chop two tablespoons each of pecans and walnuts. And I'll transfer these chopped nuts to a medium mixing bowl, along with half a cup of rolled oats, two tablespoons of almond flour, two tablespoons of oat flour, a tablespoon of golden flaxseed that I ground myself. You can buy it pre-ground if you'd like. One tablespoon of whole cane sugar, sometimes referred to as sukuna, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna to stir together these topping ingredients until they're well combined. And then I'll add three tablespoons of full fat coconut milk to the mixture. And if you'd like to mask some of that coconut flavor from the coconut milk, you can add a little bit of vanilla extract. When you can see it start to come together almost like a cookie dough consistency, then it's ready to add to the baking dish too. 
And now I'll come back to my baking dish full of apples and transfer the topping mixture on top. It might be helpful now to switch to a silicone spatula to even out the topping over the apples. This looks good. And now it's ready to go in the oven. We'll let this bake for 45 minutes and then we'll pull it out. While the apple crisp is in the oven, this is a really great time to blend up your sweet vanilla cashew cream. I've drained away the soaking water from the cashews and I'm gonna transfer them to my blender bucket. I'll add about a quarter cup of water, three tablespoons of pure maple syrup, and a full tablespoon of vanilla extract. And that's super simple. We'll just blend this up until it's nice and smooth. Once it's blended, it'll look like a thick cream. I'm gonna ease this into a glass food storage container, and then I'm gonna set it in the refrigerator to cool and thicken. This too is absolutely delicious. Right now it tastes like melted vanilla ice cream, but once it's cool, it'll be even better. Quick heads up though, you're not gonna need all of this vanilla cream just for this recipe alone, but there is a minimum amount of cashews that you need to be able to blend in a big Vitamix blender like this in order to get this smooth consistency. Don't worry though, you can use this as a coffee creamer and as a topping on any of your other holiday desserts. So there's plenty of uses for this. And this is ready to come out of the oven. When you pull it out, the apples will still be bubbling. The kitchen smells amazing, by the way. So we'll need to let this cool completely and then we'll be able to serve it. Spoon your baked apple crisp into dessert bowls. Top with a generous dollop of the sweet vanilla cashew cream, then sprinkle on cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice. Doesn't it look delicious? It's like the dessert equivalent of a warm hug. I have to take a taste, I can't resist. This apple crisp recipe is the second portion of my two-part holiday recipe series. If you enjoyed this video, I think you would really love the main course recipe that I taught in the first part of the series. Harvest veggies in a roasted acorn squash bowl makes the perfect holiday main course. If you've enjoyed this video, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the like button. And please do also subscribe. I have so many more whole food plant-based recipes that I'm really excited to share with you, and I would love to have you along for the ride. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I'm wishing you healthy, happy holidays, and I'll see you again next time.